Oh boy, this review has been a long time coming. This is the Peak Design Travel Backpack 30. I did a first impression of this a while back and since Peak Design did send this to me essentially for free to give it a review, I really wanted to spend a lot of time reviewing it. And also, I've been using it quite extensively. I took it on a cruise, I've taken it on a bunch of road trips, I took it on a family vacation. I've probably gone on about seven trips using this bag. So I feel that at this point, I have a pretty good idea of the things that I like, the things that I don't like, and maybe some considerations for you if you are thinking about getting this bag. So again, this is a Peak Design Travel Backpack 30. It looks a lot like other Peak Design bags, especially the everyday backpack. You're gonna see a lot of the things that are very similar to it, like these uh, swivel straps. Just the aesthetics of it is very Peak Design. So let's get into it. This is the black colorway. On the outside, a very clean front panel. You're going to see a lot of different attachment points everywhere, which for traveling is quite nice. I know that for the bags that I use when I travel, I really appreciate these because I can maybe strap a jacket or something else to it, a sweater, something that I really don't wanna put inside because it's gonna be super bulky, even maybe a pair of shoes that I can tie up and strap to the outside. Would be, would be nice. So I actually appreciate that quite a bit. So very clean front panel, doesn't really take up, a, doesn't really, it's not really fancy or attention grabbing, it's just nice and clean, which when I travel, I don't wanna call attention to myself. So a bag like this for me makes a lot of sense when I travel. So you have bottle pockets on either side of the bag. There are handle points everywhere. So however you wanna grab this bag, it's possible for you to grab it. Latch points all over the place. I mean, yeah, there are latch points all over the place, but there's also handles all over the place. So in the front, you have this little admin pocket here, which nice mesh. One thing that I will say is that a lot of bag makers, and I think I may have mentioned this in the initial first impression, a lot of bag makers assume that you're carrying a Mac product or an Apple product, a MacBook or something like that, and they include admin pockets that are meant for that. Like this almost looks like it's meant for a, a MacBook charging brick, but I don't use a Mac. I use a Surface Laptop Studio 2 very different device, different adapter. So for me, I really didn't find a huge use for these. And this little one, I really didn't find too much of a use for it either. There's also a pocket here, which is pretty useful. You could put a wallet. Um, this is latch points or latch, uh, latching. And it's also, I believe this might be for the sternum strap. And there are little things in here for memory cards. Again, Peak Design is a very, photographer-centric company still. So a lot of the things that you're gonna see are meant for photographers, are meant, are meant for people who use Mac products, which is kind of fine to be a downside. I would prefer more universal fitting for things like this, but your mileage may vary when it comes to that. <laughs> nice little back panel, or la nice little admin panel. On the back, you have Nice handle, this feels really good in hand. It feels nice and squishy. Uh, then you have these infamous, famous, however you wanna put it, straps. I know a lot of people complain about Peak Design's straps. Personally, I haven't had an issue with them. I, this is the second backpack that I review for Peak Design and I've loaded these things out. Like I have filled this thing to the brim and walked around and it was fine. Like I didn't have issues with it. Maybe my shoulders are a certain form. Maybe the people that complain shoulders are a different form. I don't know. But for me, these straps were perfectly fine. No, no issues. But again, your mileage may vary. 
There are no magnets here like you would find in the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, which I really like. I like when the, the straps just kind of connect in. Really cool. But they do have this thing where you can slide the, the straps in, I guess for storage, or if you're putting it on a plane or underneath a, uh, the airplane seat. I guess there's some usefulness to it. I, I didn't find it particularly useful aside from just looks. I, I would actually just prefer just having it, you know, magnetically just come up against the back panel like this and just stay there. But still, it's a cool design. If you like that kind of streamlined look, if you want to be able to tuck the straps in, hey, you know what? Go for it. It works out fine. In my initial first impression, I complained that nobody would ever gonna, is ever going to use this for anything super important. Some people actually wrote back in my comments and said that they use this for like transit cards and things like that. And you know what? That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, if you want to put some transit cards or just something that's, you know, if you don't mind, like it's not going to be a big deal if somebody steals it from you, then great. Um, water, bo water bottle, water bottle, uh, bottle pockets were great. I mean, of course, if the bag is super packed, like filled to the brim, it was difficult to get my hydro flask in here. A uh, can of soda was fine, but can of Celsius, no problem. Red Bull, okay. But again, you know, with most water bottle pockets, unless it has its own volume that's independent from anything that's going on here, the more filled the bag is, the more difficult it's gonna to be to put a bottle in here. All right, let's get into the inside of this bag. So again, you see that it, this, is, this is a very pretty bag, very clean aesthetic, it, especially in black, it's not going to call a ton of attention to you, which is pretty awesome. So let's get into, firstly, the zippers. The zippers on this bag are probably the nicest zippers I've ever used. I'll say it. I know everybody and their mom loves YKK zippers, YKK zippers all day long, every day, YKK this, YKK that. And I know that lately there's some other brands out there that are, that are becoming more famous and used by other high-end bag makers. I believe these are like in-house designed zippers, but I will tell you that I love them because from the beginning, out of the box, super smooth, just a joy to use one-handed operation, just great zippers to use. All right, let's go into the back. So here you have this back section. This is gonna open up all the way clamshell. And this is the bag. This is the main cavity of the bag. And as you see, there is a lot of different pockets that you can use. I personally didn't really use these. In fact, I may have, for a family trip, I maybe had put my Kindle in here, but that's because the Kindle is super small and flat. The problem with these pockets is that if you are really packing on enough clothes to last you a week, or maybe if you're gonna stretch it multi-week, more than seven days, you're gonna need every inch possible of this thing to be empty so that you can put those packing cubes in there or the clothes that you're going to have. So I never put anything in here because if you put anything in the admin pocket, it's going to kind of protrude into the main compartment. So if you have something in the admin pocket plus something in here, it's just going to be this giant kind of hump that's inside the bag. And I didn't like it. So I never used anything in here. I did put stuff in here. I did put tiny little things in here, which was, which was good. These mesh pockets, there's one longer mesh pocket and then there's a smaller mesh pocket that's separated by stitching. I'm not sure why they didn't just make one big pocket here, but I don't know. Uh, same thing, either side, this is symmetrical. Nice pocket, smaller pocket, kind of wish that they would have just done one pocket there. But again, everybody's packing style is different. You know, just because I pack a certain way doesn't mean you pack the same way. These pockets may be awesome for you. And I prefer 
more modular packing. I pack everything in cubes or in pouches and then pop it all in there. I'm not huge into a lot of pocketing in this space. So here's something, oh, let me, before I get into a critique that I have of this. In here right now is my Surface Laptop Studio 2. This is the laptop compartment. So you have this tab and then you have the laptop that goes in here and then you have a smaller sleeve that's not padded right in front of it. So if you want an iPad or a Kindle or something else, you could put it in there. There's no great place for documents here. I guess you could put it up against the laptop, but that little pocket that was there, not great for, for documents, which maybe you might need documents because you're on a business trip or something like that. So here's the issue that I had with the way that this bag opens. So let's say that I have my laptop in here and I lay this out. I get this weird, if I'm trying to pack it, let's say I've already packed my laptop, my laptop's coming with me on this trip, and I pack this, I get this weird, like it folds over, this lifts up, it's not great, because then like now the bottom of the bag is a lot more narrow. So to fully see how this would fit a packing cube, I have to kind of like lift this up to then put a cube in there to maybe bring this down, or I pack stuff in, before, then put my laptop in. But sometimes if you're in transit and you're gonna have the laptop in here, you have to open up the bag, you're gonna have this like this weird fold here and I didn't like this. I felt that packing the bag wasn't as frictionless as I would have liked. And it's because of the way this works. This lid is going to be heavy with a laptop or a tablet or anything in it. And of course, yes, I get it. I could already see the comments. Bro, why don't you just pack the stuff in the main cavity first and then put the laptop in? I shouldn't have to do that if the bag is designed in a way that is with less friction. I shouldn't have to pre-plan a bunch of things. I just want this to work. So. I just had, I didn't, I didn't like the way this, this functioned. I would have preferred, honestly, if the bag had an isolated laptop compartment that was by itself, up against the back panel, but that the bag would open over the top instead of in the bottom. I would have preferred it that way. So when I do open the bag, I could sit, I could seat it on the straps and then open it from here. I would have liked that way of opening the bag a lot better. But again, this is just my critique of it. This is because of the way I pack and the way I travel. Take that with a grain of salt. Maybe you pack differently. Maybe this doesn't mean anything to you. This is just my observations. So I would have preferred that the bag, again, isolated laptop compartment so that I wouldn't have to open the main compartment to get my laptop or a tablet. Kind of like the way that the everyday backpack does it. The everyday backpack has an isolated laptop compartment, an isolated tablet compartment. I would have preferred that. So close this up and let's close it. Let's close this up. So pretty much what I'm talking about is same thing. Let's say that this is an isolated laptop pocket. But then to get to the main compartment, you open up, let's say like this zipper here. This zipper is actually meant to expand the bag out a few liters. See, it expands out the bag a few liters. I, go, I think it goes from like 30 liters to about 34 liters. You know, adds a little bit of extra space maybe for that one more packing cube of underwear or a toiletry kit or maybe a tech kit or just, you know, you bought some gifts uh, while you're traveling. Gives you a little bit of extra room. But let's say for my redesign, you take this zipper and you make this the lid. So that way I'm not dealing with a heavy lid because there's nothing, there's nothing gonna be in here. Maybe you might have some tech in here, but that's not going to adversely affect the way that this packs out. But because it opens up from the back panel, 
That means that if I lay it out, I always lay it down on the front, which I'm not a fan of. I know there's a lot of debates about that. Or how do you lay your bag down? Do you put it on the front where, you know, you just wipe it down or do you lay it on the straps, which you're going to eventually touch with your hands? People go back and forth about this, you know, however you want to see it. That, that's my main critique of the bag. Uh, again, back, back panel handle too acts as a luggage pass through. So overall, how do I like this bag? Look, given the small nitpick that I have in terms of how it opens and the bulge that it creates when you try to pack it out, you see this? Overall, functionally, that nitpick aside, this bag is fantastic. This bag is very good. The zippers are beefy, yet super smooth. It holds quite a bit. I could easily pack for a week using this thing. The latch points are awesome. The pocketing is good. The bottle pockets are good. It's comfortable. You can grab it from all the different grab handles. It has a bunch of latch points. Like, look, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Peak Design knows how to design bags. They are very good at this. And this is something that for even enthusiasts, but this is a bag that would fit just about anybody for shorter travel. I don't know if I would recommend this for, let's say, more than seven days traveling by plane. Yeah, I... I wouldn't, I don't think I would use this for extended travel. I think for extended travel, you need something that's like 34 to maybe 40, depending on your packing style. Look, I know that there's people that, that go out and they're like, hey, I'm gonna go travel to Europe with two black shirts and one pair of jeans and one pair of shoes and like one, two underwear. Look, man, there's, there's extremes for everything. I get it. But for most people, this style of bag, yeah, for a week, perfectly fine, not an issue. More than that, you'd be hard pressed to make it happen. Road trips, awesome. Actually taking this uh, EDC, it's pretty nice. It's a little bit big for EDC, depending on what your EDC is, but if you're on a trip, if you're traveling, and you just wanna take this one backpack, yeah, it might be a little big on you, but it's still, like I said, doesn't call, doesn't call a lot of attention to the wearer because of its toned down aesthetic and it's just very clean in the way that it looks. Let me put this on and that way you can see what it looks like. Right now, as you saw, this is, it's pretty empty, but it still maintains its form. Um, I will say though that when it is packed out, it does stand up by itself. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's too much weight with the laptop, but when it is packed out, it stands up by itself, which it's a big boy. All right, let's put this on. So, Peak Design Travel Backpack, 30 liters. And then the, the cord that I brought out earlier was definitely the sternum strap, which you could just put in. Even though I don't really use stern sternum straps too often. Guys, I recommend it, and I'm not just saying that because Peak Design sent it to me, but understand what you're getting with this bag and some of the nitpicks that I mentioned. Of course, there are some critiques, but overall, this is a well-designed bag that will last you a long time. Again, zippers are awesome, very smooth, robust. The straps are comfortable for me, and this is a very functional bag that can serve, can serve a lot of use cases. Awesome. Guys, I appreciate you being here. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon. Take it easy.